just see the earth getting pulled up right there. So like you can see right here, some of these chunks, that is a solid piece, that's a solid rock piece of dirt. So today we are heading out. We're gonna go do another video with the Fowler brothers. The last video I did with them, with the D11, they were already on their second pass. So we didn't get to actually see the first pass of ripping, which is the most impressive, coolest looking part because they're actually going through ground that, you know, it's called virgin ground, ground that's just been sitting there idle for a long time. And actually getting to see the hard pan coming up and getting torn up is really cool. They're out there with a D, only a D10 today, only a D10, but it's got a blade on it. So that's kind of cool. getting pulled up right there. just amazing to me that thing weighs so much has so much horsepower and it's only pulling one shank but yet the dirt is so hard the hard pan is so hard that it has the hardest time you saw the tracks they just start spinning and they have to pull up the shank just a little bit get past that bigger chunk and smack it back down and they'll do a second pass on this going the opposite direction so they'll be able to sink that shank all the way down in on that second pass to break that up it's insane it just shows you how hard that hard pan is i have another video on here if you guys want to go look at it you guys should go look at it and it shows you just how hard and how thick that hard pan layer is so if you want to go watch that i dig down with their backhoe not only dig through that stuff but to have to rip through it like that
where we're at, this used to be an orchard. So what they did is they actually just, you can actually see where the old tree rows used to be. Um, these line, there's a line here, there's a row there. And you can see where there used to be a tree right here. And so they've gone through with an excavator and popped them out, all the trees out, let them kind of dry out. Once they dry out, they bring in a loader with a big brush fork, picks them all up, takes them over to that grinder. And then the grinder obviously grinds them up. An excavator just sits there and loads a big tub grinder. This just was an orchard. They pulled it out past its prime. It wasn't. It was no longer producing uh, well enough to keep it going. So you tear it out and replant it. Pretty fascinating. Just how quick. Just turn around and just do it again. You can actually go back and watch a video I just did on a peach orchard removal where they actually have a excavator popping out, showing you how they remove the trees. Pretty cool. And I got to drive the excavator. That was a lot of fun. You actually will get to see how that's done. And then I'm hopefully doing a video here soon on the actual orchard removal process from start to finish, from pulling the trees, drying them out, scooping them up with that front loader, taking them to those tub grinders and grinding them up. It's breaking up the hard pan. That's what we're wanting to do. We want to break up and shatter that hard pan layer. That way we can get the water penetration and we also can get the root penetration. I need to quit saying penetration. We have to do this even after they've probably already done this before they planted this orchard 25, 30 years ago, however long ago they planted this orchard. So like you can see right here, some of these chunks that it's pulling up. I mean, that is a solid piece. That's a solid rock piece of dirt. So yeah, right now he's just making these single passes like this. He'll come back and he'll hit it with a 90 across it like that. A lot of times what guys will do too is they'll do this one pass, the single pass with the single ripper shank like this. And then when we do that pass where they go 90 degrees the other way, they'll put the three shanks on because they'll be able, since it's already kind of been broken up, that three shanks will break it up even more and they'll be able to do that. It's kind of intimidating looking. So when we put these orchards in, we have the irrigation systems. And instead of trying to pull all those lines up beforehand, we just go through and rip it. It's gonna come to the ends anyway. And you just disc it up, pull it up. I'll try to climb up this thing. Oh yeah. Big boy. my truck if he needs to. Well, that was a good successful day. Actually, I came out yesterday to do this and I drove all the way out here and right when I showed up, the dozer had a breakdown. They got sensors on all these things now that if the littlest thing, you know, plugs up or does whatever, it just shuts the machine down. So I'm assuming something like that happened. But that's part of farming and that's part of equipment everyone knows that he does works with equipment and it's not cheap not cheap at all to fix anyway i don't even know if i'll keep any of this footage because i'm just rambling i don't know what i'm talking about oh we got a tractor coming oh what a nice guy he pulled off and let everybody pass before the stop sign that is a nice guy right there So if you like this video, please like it, comment, please leave a comment with what you want to see, what I could have done better. Subscribe, share it. I appreciate you guys for watching.
might get some good footage. Maybe just be like, nah, this sucks. No one wants to see this.